I would say I'm definitely like an extreme all or nothing kind of person. Like I will go to the gym with my husband and I'm the one on like extreme 20 whatever level and he is like trotting along at three and I'm like, what are you even working out for? If I'm gonna go do something, I'm gonna do it full on and that's just me. I like being outdoors. I like, I feel like I'm in an infomercial. I'm actually really boring. What I like doing right now is working on my website and blogging about spiritual stuff. A good amount of time spent with my husband is spent being complete idiots. <laughs> so this is my husband, Eric. It's like we both had to do. We both had growing up to do on our own. I needed to sort out some major childhood malfunction. My mum died when I was 14. I just had a lot of really rough things that happened to me and I didn't know what to do with them. Uh, I developed bulimia and then I turned to drugs as a way to just, I guess as my way of dealing with those challenges, but it just led me further and further away from uh, what I wanted. So one of the tools that I used was journaling. And for me, the big change there, it started to give me information or like this blueprint of life that gave it meaning. Another thing I started doing after I got involved in MSIA was meditation. Meditation is something that I need to do every day. The active kind of meditation that I do that we call spiritual exercises, it's truly profound. I can be in the middle of my day at work, out of balance, frustrated by something that's just happened. I can sit down, begin to focus on my breath and bring my attention within, and often within 10 minutes, be aware of a sense of bliss and peace that I used to have to do drugs for. Just the one practice of spiritual exercises to me has changed my life. I feel like that's really set me up to be able to experience this and be open to this and be free in myself because, um, yeah, it's still a journey but I'm still learning how to let myself be free.